I tried to do a female voice for this one. It didn't really work what, out. What, to kind of like balance to it from last time when your just, voice was dead? Well, that and the theme of the podcast, I suppose. Um, Women. Hi. It's a little bit sexist. Yeah, well. Yeah, well <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to be doing it, don't matter. <laughs> um, hi, anyone? Uh, yeah, yeah. Podcast 7. Yes, and... Uh, well, right along. Well, I was thinking, like, uh, the f- uh, obviously the first one we did was sort of history, because it was the first one, but also because it's the greatest Royal Rumble. I suppose this one's quite historic, because uh, yeah, it's the first it's, ever it's women's not also. Yeah, 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 it's the first ever women's... Even though... Pay- in WWE? Yeah. Even mm. though they've not really done much to build it properly at all, it's like they care no. more about Crown Jewel than Evolution, which pissed me the right off. The, unfortunately, it's affecting my rating for this. But but I'll be honest, I, I think the girls absolutely stormed it. I think it was okay. So really? I'll, I'll, I'll probably explain and put my thoughts here as we go along. Uh, I don't think anyone's dead. Which is, you know, which a nice definitely change. a good thing. I mean, we can, we, uh, we've we done can a separate podcast. But, for, for Roman Reigns, yeah. but yeah. we'll throw our thoughts and prayers out there again. Yeah, the this once one. you haven't seen that podcast, we talked about that. So yeah, so check that out. This podcast is for him then. And it's not a different guy, I was ill on that one. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. Evolution. Evolution. Now, as I say, it's, um, apparently there was Sorry. a pre-show. Uh, um, yeah, I didn't watch it. No, I, I, I didn't. Apparently it was like a red carpet type thing. It was just like interviews and press and that kind of stuff and... I don't know whether I agree with that. Well, I, I, I liked it from the get-go because, uh, you know, they're still sticking with LED screens, but slightly different looking arena. It felt yeah, more it, NXT yeah, house show. Yeah, exactly. And like, even the barriers were like the proper barriers rather than the phone yeah. ones. And yeah, it was, it felt a little bit more intimate. Um, yeah. But yeah, like I said, because they had different stage and everything, it made it feel like it was a proper thing. Not just another pay-per-view, it was an awesome pay-per-view. Well, they made a little bit more effort with that. Yeah, the, the effort, the fact as well, they had Lizzie Hale as it, Nikki Strauss. Yeah, the one that Alice Cooper's guitarist, yeah, Lizzie yeah. Hale and the Hailstorm drummer as well. Yeah, the, uh, just that female rock and roll presence of like, it was the kind of stamping point of like, we know how historic this is, so we're going to open with a band. Mm. And unfortunately, with their tightness with pyros, they went with music instead. But that's cool, you know, it's good to see some heavy metal music in wrestling again. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I think, I'm not, oh, this is more politically <coughs> behind the scenes stuff, because uh, I spoke to my brother last night, and obviously he, uh, he'd seen it already. Um... The I, I I'm pretty sure Triple H ran it because yeah. it felt like just not just because of the arena and stuff because it just felt different. The energy was incredible. It, it yeah, like I say, it felt like a takeover. But it really the energy of the crowd they never dropped for me really. They, they, just, they were they were behind every single match. They they were invested because they the wanted matches it to, that really didn't matter. Yeah, they they just wanted it to work. So um, you know they were appreciative and showing the women. You know, we want we want you to entertain us at the end of the day, but you do deserve this show anyway, and we yeah. want to support you any way we can. So they were on form. Um, I'm don't, uh, uh, the barrier thing. I mean, like I said, it did feel like a little bit of NXT, which is great. The house show part, um, even though I liked it, it felt like well, the fact that you're making it feel a little bit house showish feels like you're not invested enough. Maybe. Also, hence the whole, they didn't really storyline it on the Raws and Spatman beforehand. Yeah, maybe. It still worked, because the praise I've got from it is, to, it, even without the, the storyline build-up, I think the show went really well. Yeah. It, but it's that kind of a shame part of, like, imagine how better it would have been if there was actually storyline investment in it. Instead of, it was only literally, like, two months out of the storyline investment. Well, yeah, but the unfortunate truth, or not truth, rumour of why I think Triple H ran it, is apparently Vince didn't believe in this show. It wasn't. Of course, he didn't. He didn't want it. Of course, but he didn't. Also, uh, rumor has it he's never watched an episode of NXT. No. Or I, I think he's been a, a that, 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 that fucking shows really. If you think about it, if you look at the Bratton difference and the quality difference, it, it shows. It, it's, it's if he looked at NXT even once, he maybe take a leaf out of his son-in-law's book and. I know he shouldn't steal ideas, uh, but at the same time, because that's what he'd do, he'd be, I mean, which would be great for the fan of like, oh, actually, you're onto something here. Or, But the alternative would be, which I'd really want, is if you watch a few episodes of NXT, takeovers, whatever, he might go, hmm, maybe I have lost touch, and just call it a day. But he won't. No. Uh, but I'm pretty sure, because despite him not being firmly behind this female pay-per-view idea... It's still a WWE pay-per-view. He must have watched it. Yeah. Um, there's a couple of things that happened during the show which might make me think, 
Vince was going, actually, actually, this isn't bad, this is cool. Other bits where I've kind of gone, ah, it, yeah, that's just going to, you know, make Vince go see, they weren't ready. And we'll get into that because I'm babbling now, so. Uh, first match then, which is the one I thought they'd start with. Yeah. Uh, Trish and Lita versus um, Foxy and uh, Jane James. Because Alexa's injured. Yeah, I'm glad Alexa... In, what's she injured with? I'm not sure. Something to do with, with her arm, I don't know, it's elbow, shoulder. Right, but she, I'm glad she was there at least yeah, to kind of cause a couple of distractions and introduce them and whatnot. But it was a real best. high energy when Trish and Lita came out. But yeah, it was a great way to start it. And it was a good match. It wasn't bad. Um, I, I thought it was. I thought it was a really decent match, and I think again a lot of the energy of the crowd made it better. Yeah, it, d- it did. Which it, I got, instantly I got more invested because of it. It was. It was good in the set. My brother didn't agree with, with on this part, but um, well from the get go, I think Lisa started it. Um, yeah. And the unfortunate truth I thought from that is that out of the four of them, I thought Lita was the 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 the, the weak link. Uh, which is a shame, because Alita was, like, my top female wrestler favourite back in the day. And she still is, but, you know, I've got to be a little bit forgiving of ring rust and age and and all that, but she seemed a bit slow in places. She did get, you know, it going as the match went on. might have been a confidence thing. Yeah. I was actually really impressed with Alicia, and I never thought I'd say that. She did quite a a couple of moves. I thought, well, she's putting out all the stops. Well, it it wasn't just the move. It was the the, the way she was selling stuff. She Mm -hmm. really got Trish over. Um, I've never denied that she's a a great athlete, but... But She's never been pushed. No, but they tried her once with that Team Captain Inc. Survivor Series, uh, which kind of fell flat. She's a, um, an interesting character because she just seems to be mental. And a lot of people, it's kind of start, I think it might go the way the New Day did. Because when the New Day first started, everyone was like, what are they doing? What are these three mm-hmm. idiots doing? And the more they evolved, the more the, the fans grew to it. Yeah. I think if Alicia's given more of that, because at the minute it's like, what's this ditzy cow doing? Mm. It's like, actually, she's making it a character that she's just... No one else is doing it. That's it. She's pathetic. She's mental. Comes out in these ridiculous clothing, but she stands out. Yeah. All she needs work on is promo work, I think. Yeah. And maybe a chance. Um, I'd rather Alexa did more in it. Yeah, but I'm glad she she did something. I didn't think she was there. Yeah, Yeah. I didn't think she'd be there. Mm. But she was there. She made the effort. So yeah, that's fair enough. Um, It was a couple of missed times. There was uh, definitely a hot tag for Trish. Yep. Definitely, that was really built up well. Um, there's, I mean, there's a couple of, couple of botches here and there, but nothing over, yeah. over too much. They yeah, stood there, out that there much. was one where I think at one point, Lita, Trish, and Mickey Jones stood there looking at each other like, "Oh, right, yeah, is that yeah, yeah, um, yeah." Slightly, there was the the fall at the end, which I, I did forgive because it was like um, Alicia was too late to break it up, so the ref kind of went one, two. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, even the yeah, crowd yeah, like, "Dude, that was three. That was three. I think even the crowd were like, "That was three. Yeah, that was three. But straight after they obviously did the 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 kick and the moonsault, it's like, okay, we yeah. get what finish good, you're going. Yeah, for. it was a good finish. Yeah. So yeah, uh, the only I'm fine with the victory for Lee and Trish because yeah, it's, you've got to start with a high a high like positive win for your first match and you, it was quite obvious those two were going to win it you do I mean if to be honest if it was Alexa and Mickey uh, against Patricia and Lita I, I would have gone with the same victory because again Mickey's pretty much a bona fide Hall of Famer anyway yeah. Alexa's career in the last few years has been brilliant so they don't really need a victory and I think what they did with the victory with Lita and Trish is it's almost a thank you of you're here for the first women's pay-per-view and you deserve this victory because to be honest, those were the two that led it in the first place. Yeah, they, yeah actually, they were it, the ones, yeah. The, yeah, it was, you know, they, they were in uh, a Divas era, and it's, it did take a while for the Divas era to uh, fade out, but they were the two women in that Divas era that goes, well, we are sexy, and if that has to be the case in certain storylines, we'll, we'll use our sex appeal, but we can wrestle as mm-hmm. well, and we'll do that, and, and they nailed it. Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I, it was good match. Oh, oh, yeah, I would have been fine with Alicia winning it though, because it would have been like, wow, what a what momentum push. push for Alicia. Everyone would have it'd been the shock value of like, well, Bleach and Trish don't need it, Mickey don't need it. It would have made a sense for Alicia to get the victory, but I'm fine with the way the match went down. Yeah, that, that's cool. Good opener. Mm. Uh, what was next? It was about the next. twenty women battle. That was fun, and it was again. It was something I didn't give a shit about because it was this match was a kind of. We don't have anything for you storyline-wise, so let's just do this. But 
it actually served a decent purpose. It, yeah. Actually, you get a title opportunity at the end of it, which I didn't know was going to be the case. I didn't yeah. know that. Uh, they built things certain well with the old people versus the new people. Um, yeah. They built certain storylines with with Ember and um, Naya, with Naya and Tamina. Tamina yeah. They did the right things at the right time. They even did the dance break and everything. I really like, like that bit. It's like the whole <laughs> lot. It's like they actually put storylines and fun moments into this. They didn't just have it just so they could be on the pay-per-view. They actually put something in there to make it fun and entertaining. Yeah. I was so behind wanting Ember to win. So was I. I was like, when it's down to the last four, I was like, come on, Ember, you fucking yeah. got this! Oh, yeah. And I was gutted when, I mean, uh, fair enough, I don't mind Nia no, winning. No, I was fine with Nia I'm winning. I'm fine with Nia winning, because her versus uh, Ronda, I, you know, I'm fine with that. It's yeah. not a problem. Um, but I was so, like, Ember is ready. She hasn't had a real storyline since yeah. she's been in this, since the Money in the Bank. The, really. the crowd were behind her And she was well. so glad, I was like, oh my God, imagine if she can get her over. Imagine if she can get Nia over the ropes. And she just, just missed the mark. Yeah. Still, it, it was a good, solid, fun match. I, the shocker for me was Asuka getting kicked out when she did. Um, I, yeah, in a way. I thought um, she would have been in one of the last two. Um, I think it was more, uh, yeah, they might have, should have played on that a little bit more because I think it was, I think Ember and Asuka should have wrestled a bit more and then when Ember got they, the yeah, back, because Ember's never defeated had, Asuka. Yeah, but they had a moment, didn't they? Yeah. They had, they had their, their little moment in the ring, obviously, people chatting NXT at that point, because mm. of their match sets in there. Yeah, I think, I know what you mean about the Battle Royal of like, well, you got nothing for you, so we just throw this together. Which I think it partly was, but when you're going to, when it's the first ever women's WWE pay-per-view, you're just going to be, you know, you want to involve as many women as you can on well, the card. And a battle royal is the way to do that. Yeah, I understand that. I just felt like maybe they could have built it up a bit more, but again, they didn't really do it for no. any of the other storylines well, either. The, the Legends thing was great. It was good to see, like, was it uh, Ivory, Molly Holly, Tori Wilson. Yeah, uh, Kelly Kelly, Michelle yeah, McCall. Uh, yeah, um... Uh, uh, t- uh, Lunge of Blaze. Yeah, which, Blaze, yeah, she was in there. I, don't, I know she looked she, old, she, but she looked elegant as fuck walking didn't down do that much, though, did she? No, well, there was the iconic point. thing at the start was fun as well, because like, so they were chatting their mouths off. I was like, I know what's going to happen here. Yeah. As soon as the bell rings, they're getting chucked over. And you know what? I, like a little mark, I bought, it, bought into it and I enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun moment. I, I did, but at the time, because I was, you know, enjoying... I, I liked how they did it of like, here's someone from the current roster... Here comes a legend, uh, like Ma- Maria and yeah. stuff. Um, it show their mixed match partners in the crowd and, mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Um, what I was when the Iconics came out, I saw they had microphones. It's like right, they're going to do when their little iconic hi Australian promo thing. But I was, every now and then it panned to the ring, and I'm trying to count how many people were there, and because they were building it up that the Iconics were the last two. But I thought if they get to the ring, still mouthing off. And then Nikki Cross's music hits. That would have been awesome. Oh, that would have been good. Bit of a spoiler alert: Nikki Cross weren't on the entire pay per view. Yeah, which I'm kind of annoyed about. Yeah, but what do you do with her apart from put her in the royal? Well, well if, if she if she went in the battle royal, I think she should have won it. But I'm okay with what she's doing in NXT right now. Yeah, um, because she's kind of teasing and mixing it up with the men at some point. Which I'm cool with. I, I think she's the perfect candidate for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a couple of eliminations where it was kind of like, you kind of just stepped out or botched <laughs> yeah. that. So, yeah, you know, a couple of times. What I didn't see coming, when it came to Ember and Naya, I was like, brilliant. When Alexa Vega suddenly popped out, yeah. I was like, oh shit, I forgot about that! <laughs> Selena Vega, man, I, for- uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, Selena Vega, it's Alexa Vega. Yeah, I think so, it is, yeah. yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I forgot about her. I thought, I just assumed she'd been kicked out. Yeah, but I thought, oh man. And then, um, yeah, when I eliminated Ember, it was kind of like, yeah, I would have preferred Ember, but I'm okay with this. Because we'll get more into Ronda's match later on. But the, the, I think the two longest match, matches Ronda's had were Hell in a Cell and Evolution. Yeah. And yet, the one that stands out for me is her one with Nia. I think that's been her best so far. So, if they can do it again without the Alexa Bliss cashing interference stuff, I think it has potential to be right. good. Um, so, yeah, not a bad second match. Yeah. Um, then it was the Mae Young final. Yes, uh, Tory Wilson versus... To- no, to- Tory, to- Tory, 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 Tory Wilson. Tony Storm. Storm. Why does it Tory Wilson? Uh, I, Tony uh, Storm. I, I, I mean, because I, I heard a lot about her and I haven't watched the Mae Young Classic at all. But I heard a lot about her. Yeah, well, and she looked awesome. And Io, Io, uh, which quite Io. Uh, yeah, I'm P- sorry. comment below. Sorry, I can't remember her fucking name now. But oh. I know that she's in the Japanese. Is it Io Ibushi or something like that? Shuri. Io Shuri. Shuri. That's it. That's Thank it. you. 
Um, that's again, uh, uh, it's partly uh, the, the mess of the WWE not to build it up, but at the same time, I know what they're trying to do. They're kind of going, they're almost promoting so many different things in one pay per view. It's like you want to see these women and uh, you tune into one on SmackDown. Mm. Want to see these as NXT? You want to see what this is all about? Go on the network and watch the Mae Young Classic. But at the same time, it's almost punishing us for not doing it. But we don't have the time. I mean, I know, we, have the time. I know it's Not there the time. on demand. Yeah, same here. Um, well, I would watch NXT every single time it was up, but I don't have the time. So I just watched a couple of highlights. We're on SmackDown, I watched the highlights. I can't watch the whole thing. Yeah. The only thing I watched all the way through is the pay-per-views. I suppose it might be, again, a, a network plug of... Because a lot of... The, I'm guessing a lot of the fans in the arena were, were casual, just the Raw and SmackDown kind of fans. But a lot of people watching it on, on box office or whatever... Who don't have the network wouldn't have had the opportunity to watch the Mayan Classic. So it was almost like the final wasn't just to see who won, but with that, it had a lot of pressure on it of going with that kind of quality of wrestling. You want fans after the match to go, wow, if, if that's that good, I want to buy the network yeah. and watch the rest of the tournament. Um, the match itself was was solid. It was one of my top three yeah, tonight. It was definitely a solid match. I mean, um, Tony Storm was just. She was all over it. I, yeah. I was loving everything about it. She told a great story. It was emotional for her. And the promo package before was brilliant. Yeah, because it had the whole. Because she didn't make it last year. She was in the final. Yeah, and, and it, it also was... had the whole thing of like, looks like the whole world is behind Tony Storm here. Yeah. Of she's the next big thing in yeah, wrestling. Yeah, I don't think she can be. Where with Io, it's kind. Of, I, I think this is a fact as well. I think she was voted for three years. Best the best Japan. female wrestler in Japan. Yeah, she was, yeah. That's a lot, because Japan is so up there with wrestling. Mm. So it's kind of like, these are two of the best women in the world facing off right now. Io's uh, springboard moonsault to the outside. Yeah. Just, again, it was like, this is the kind Bang. of stuff we want. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, the German suplex and the apron. Yeah, um, was great. Just a lot of... What's uh, Tony's uh, final move again? Uh, it's like Twisted Storm it, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. It's, it's basically like a twisted sit-out powerbomb, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I'm fine with Tony winning. Yeah, uh, I, I, I was fine. The emotion behind it was great. And obviously, you've got Steph and Triple H out there with her at the end. And yeah, it was one of them where I, I kind of figured they ain't going to go with IO because, I mean, this is stupid, but they went with Kyrie Kyrie Sane Sane last time. Yeah. Two Japanese women. Yeah. yeah. But, um, what but I Tony want, deserved it. Tony did deserve it. So. She's already kind, she kind of entered the tournament not only as the favourite, but as the top dog anyway, which is the only reason why I thought. Well, she because she's on NXT UK, and I I did ask my brother to, to give me the spoiler because um, she was part of the NXT UK Women's Championship tournament, which has been recorded multiple times on the network. And I was like, "Is she the champion? Did she win that thing?" He's like, "Do you really want to know?" I was like, "Actually, no. no." So I don't know. But for all I know, she might be. You, you viewers or listeners might already know. Uh, she might already be NXT UK Women's Champion. Which, again, if she is, it's that uh, another part of me thinking, well, did she really need to Mayan Classic as well? But what, mm-hmm. the only thing I would have been different if I would have gone with IO, I, IOE, oh, what's it? IO, whatever, I-O. winning, would have been, if you wanted to get NXT UK over, why didn't you have a female from NXT UK interfere and cost Tony the match? Because, again, you would have been like, who's that? Why should she do it? You want to find out? Tune in NXT UK. Uh- yeah, but again, I'm fine with Tony winning. It's yeah, like definitely. to say she did deserve it. Yeah, definitely. So, good. yeah, good match. Uh, then it was a three on three, wasn't it? Yeah, the six woman tag. The, unfortunately, I don't know, but was it the NXT Championship? I thought it was, but with the what I saw on the, the, the list, three, right, yeah. Yeah, three, yeah. So it was Sasha, Bailey, and Natalia versus the Riot Squad. I like the Riot right Squad's attire, the Halloween attire. With the, I did, cool. but I thought that was cool. What, what, I, I, I apologise. Apart from Ruby Riot, I always forget the other one's name. So Mandy Rose and Sarah Logan. Sarah Logan. Right. Apparently, Mandy was meant to be dressed as no, it wasn't Mandy Rose. Liv. Liv, sorry, Ma- yeah, Liv Ma- well, that was it. Sorry, go back to the battle royal. Mandy Rose eliminated. Um, oh yeah, uh, was that Sarah Logan or was that? No, um, uh, oh, what's her name? Someone to tell us. You know what I'm on about? I can't remember the name the, now. The, the other one who was in Absolution. Yeah, yeah, you know, please comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, I, I yeah, don't know if it's going to lead to anything, but that was cool. Yeah, it was cool. Anyway, yeah, yeah, three and three. Yeah, um, apparently, Liv, sorry, was meant to be Pennywise. 
Couldn't tell. I thought it was just a normal attire. It, and it wasn't until they got really close to Ruby Riot when they had the little spiral. Like, oh, I saw! Yeah. Cool! Yeah. Um, unfortunately for me, when I think of the card, because again, with no build up whatsoever for the pay well, a little bit of build up for the pay per view, looking back at the card, it's going, actually, these women are doing really well on the card. There wasn't any. A few years ago, it would have been like, yeah, I don't really give a shit about any of these women's matches. But with no build-up, I was still like, I actually want to see that. Yeah, I actually exactly. want to see that. Yeah. Unfortunately, the six-woman tag was the more, it would have been my piss break. Match. Yeah, I was going to say, out of all the matches, that was the one I was not that bothered about. But it was still a good match. It was okay. I mean, it just seemed to run together. Bailey took a couple of good hits, like when she got drop kicked in the turnbuckle, that bit. Yeah, that was a good spot. Yeah. Um, uh, when she covered over Sasha to stop her girl getting hit with a leg drop. Yeah, but what I thought, her. though, was like, mm, wouldn't, wouldn't it just hurt both of you instead of protecting... Yeah, but it's meant to be a story, no one Yeah. At the moment, isn't it? Um, right, I, so was it a double sharpshooter? Uh, it was at one point, yeah. yeah. Really, really, really impressive. impressive. Cool. So like I said, it wasn't like it was a bad match. It was just, out of all the matches, it was probably the weakest. It was the, the yeah, it was the match I wasn't the, invested but in because it seemed thrown together. It was still definitely a serviceable, solid yeah, match. Yeah, obviously it didn't mean anything. It was just kind of like, we're putting these women on the pay-per-view. Yeah. And, uh, I, I don't know, it just seemed... I think it went on a bit too long as well. I, th- I think they could have gave... More length to maybe the NXT Women's Championship match or, yeah. or the Raw Women's well, Championship. I, I would say that about a lot of the video packages they did through the night. If you got rid yeah. of all those video packages, you didn't really need to put them in, to be perfectly honest. You could have put them at the start and left it at that. Well, some you did, some you didn't. Because, but, again, with some of them, you had no build-up. Yeah. So you needed the video package. No, no, no I don't mean the video packages for the matches. I mean the ones where, what does evolution oh, mean Oh, yeah, to yeah. Get I, rid of yeah. all of them and you could have added that onto something else. Yeah, well, yeah, all of those could have been a WWE, WWE.com exclusive yeah, or exactly. whatever. But yeah. Um, yeah, what, the only thing I was hoping for, but so be it didn't happen, I thought, if you want to make a history defining moment at this pay-per-view, have this as the moment that either Sasha or Bailey turn on the other. Yeah. Because from then on, you could have built up their match to WrestleMania. Definitely. But. It didn't happen. No, it didn't happen. Uh, the Riot Squad, um, are kind of just, that they're not disappointing me, and they're not, it's not like they're not impressing me. Just there. They're, well, they're, they seem solid, which is. It's a compliment, yeah. in a way. It's kind of like, okay, you solidified yourself as you're the stable of the women's division. You're doing well. Yeah, because Absolution is just, like, falling apart. Well, it, it did since Page, yeah. kind of thing. But, we... yeah, I would say, yeah, they're a solid stable. Mm. Definitely. And I like but, uh, Sash's um, homage to Eddie. Yeah, the, the frog splash. Went with the frog splash. Yeah, that was cool. So, yeah, yeah again, it wasn't a bad match, but it's kind of the bottom of the list for yeah. me on the matches of the, the pay-per-view. Next was NXT, Shayna Baszler versus Kari Sane, and this was... It's just showing... Oh, if Vince sh- was watching the pay-per-view, hopefully he awesome. sees how good NXT is. Sh- like, the whole time Sarah's like, I fucking hate Shayna. She's <laughs> like, I hate <laughs> that's her. The like, that's the brilliance of it, she's such a bitch! D- she's well, such a I, bitch! I, I like, she was just aggressive and just methodical and just oh, the, evil. The, the twisting of the it. wrist and the arms. Oh, that was that stomping on yeah, You vindictive cow! I fucking hate it! Oh. It's brilliant. But, yeah, uh, one, four, two of the four horsewomen in the crowd and getting them involved in a way was good as well. Yeah, like, it, it shows they're coming kinda, up. Yeah, exactly. Kind of solidifies, all right, they're kind of putting them in as they know each other. Yeah. Potential stable. You know what I mean? They're, they're actually pushing it forward that they exist in this universe, really. Well, technically, they kind of cost Kyrie the, the title. Yeah, it is. So, and the first ever two-time women's NXT champion. Yeah, I, I was fine with her winning. Because yeah, me too, because like, you you, Kyrie's beat her twice. Uh, the first time was kind of a fluke, wasn't it? With the, yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought, yeah, I think there's only one way out of this. Because yeah. if you have Kyrie Zane win a third time, it's kind of like, well, you're kind of diminishing Shayna Baszler here, and she's meant to be this kind of... Brock Lesnar type character yeah and yeah. you're going to diminish it if you're having Kyrie Sane win all the time so yeah it made sense for Kyrie, for Shayna to win definitely. yeah because Nia is to a degree with, no, maybe not personality wise but with her, her strength and everything Nia Jax is kind of the Brock Lesnar of the women's division for both Raw and Smackdown Shane is it, it for NXT. Mm. R- Ronda could be argued as the Brock Lesnar of Raw but she's too well. smiley smiley isn't yeah and, but again the MMA stuff but yeah. the same with Shayna um, again, it was a. I knew with it being Evolution, you had three championship matches. One of them was bound to change hands. Yeah, and I was glad it was that. Um, um, well, that one might have been just the one. We'll let you know in a minute. <laughs> uh, yeah. like, you can't ruin. Yeah, it. Who cares? <laughs> Watch it. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, Kyrie's uh, 
entrance seemed a bit too long. I was just like, yeah, get on with it now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it was a very solid match. They, I do like how she has a title in the chest. Yeah, as I, I say, they're both great characters. As soon as, uh, because there was a couple of the, she was going to go for the elbow and then Shayna rolled out and a huge cross body off the top rope mm-hmm. to the outside. Um, as soon as she went over the, the barrier and hit the, the front row, I was like, right, they wouldn't have done that to just regular fans. Otherwise, that's a Sue package on their hands. Yeah. So it was kind of like, but it's the horsewomen. However, they hit the horsewomen. If you actually notice, and the missus spotted this as well, the lady in the purple jacket was just a random bystander. She got out of the way. <laughs> she got hit by the legs. Oh. Um, <laughs> <it's laughs> I just personally she kind of just got out of the way and then you see afterwards once she's had the altercation with one of the four horsewomen you can just see her just kind of edging away back to her seat yeah because oh. she was not meant to be hit but, see I kind of like that. I, I personally like that as long as I didn't get too hurt yeah but even if I got like someone I was in the crowd someone got through me and their heel clocked me in the mouth and I had a bleeding lip I'd still be like that was fucking awesome <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was part of that yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm glad the, the direction they're going, and yeah, it's, it's one of them where, again, it's a draw to watch NXT. Definitely. Um, then it we've got was two matches left. The last woman standing. Yeah, last one. This, for me, was the match of the night. Yeah, I had to think about it. Yeah. Yes, it was. It was absolutely incredible. The story we're told was excellent. The spots were brilliant. Um, the emotion between the two of them was brilliant. They were really good together. Yeah. Uh, the finish was fine and great. I enjoyed it. Everything about it was perfection for me. There was never a time I got bored. Um, it just, I enjoyed the entire thing. It was always something happening for me. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I'm going to sound... The crowd was so invested beyond, but it was unreal. Yeah. That, well, I'm going to sound... Some of it, I'm, I'm, uh, I think I'm in the right to say. I know it's going to sound picky, but again, I've got, we've discussed this. As like, at the end of the day, we want to do these podcasts to get people into wrestling. But we've got to be... We've got to pull it straight down. Yeah, the middle. Honest, yeah. Um, because I was worried going into this podcast of thinking, are we going to look at it and be forgiving to the women? And hopefully not, because I didn't want it to come across in a sexist way of going, no, they did okay for women. No, you know, no, no. I, I and I didn't want to go into that. Yeah. It's a shit match. It's a shit match. It's a great match. It's a great match. Yeah. It's irrelevant whether they're men or women. So, yeah, so it's, it's kind of going in as like, especially with, with the kind of fuck ups they, they, uh, we mentioned in previous matches, Battle Royal, whatever. It's kind of like, we know you're under pressure because the first one is pay per view, but we know you can do so much better than this. So I was almost urging them to do more, in a way. Right. Not that they were disappointing me, but it was kind of like, Come on, you, you, you're doing good, but you're better than this. That's all I was beginning to think. Not Again, not in the Charlotte Becky match as much, because no, they that. show me... If, you know, the, I know there's been no, the women's hand on the cell and stuff, yeah. but they show they can go extreme. Um, I, I think it's a contender for one of the matches of the year, for me. Um, I think it was that good. I generally think it was amazing. It, I, I remember at the end of the match... It, it had all the elements it needed. It was one of those where I'm thinking... I might have to watch it again uh, just to kind of because there'll probably be bits I missed and just to uh, really take it in again because it was that kind of there was so much going on was during the match. I mean, the, the chair off, the yeah, chair's been thrown in when she gets uh, dropped in the chair. They're on the chair table, but it doesn't break. Well, uh, yeah, the bat dropped her back on the chairs. She landed right in the back of her neck. Yeah, I thought um, shit. Then the the, uh, the figure four through the ladder. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, they were, with the chairs as well. The chairs and the Singapore cane hits. They yeah. weren't, you know, they weren't like uh, being delicate with them. No. They were going for it, which I should have. Which is why I liked it. It's like the, here to make an impact tonight. Mm. Um, not really their fault, but when Becky got laid on the table and Charlotte went for the moon salt. It didn't. I close. knew that was going to happen. Yeah, no, Sarah, because I felt like the table was too close to the apron. But it, it was like if you pulled it back a bit further, you probably would have put enough weight in the right area and it would have gone. It but, again, she didn't miss it, but it was that kind of. Uh, yes, you can do that athletic stuff, but with the the man- manoeuvre you're doing, and let's face it, as there's not enough weight behind. That's it. The men are always going to be heavier, so you may be good wrestlers, but at the end of the day, you're not as heavy as the well, men, so the table like won't that. give as yeah, easy. Yeah, well, something like that it needs to be a leg drop or a frog splash or something like that. Well, because she turned it into the senton. Yeah, she did a senton, that worked. But again, uh, this is attitude error me uh, a little bit. In the attitude error, when a, a guy went through the table, the fucking thing exploded. This kind of just like, they went through, but it was just like a very gentle, and it snapped. Which, again, no fault of their own, but... It is what it is. Yeah. I mean, I was, I was so invested by that point, anyway. I, I was invested, and, it, yeah, it was match of the night, 
Um, the ending, I, I think, was good. Because um, yeah. there was a couple of times I thought, maybe Charlotte's going to take this, and I really hope not. Cause the way she ended the match, that was the, the biggest bump. Like, yeah. even a guy the taking pa- a powerbomb off, power the, through the table, off the top, off rope. The top yeah. rope, and that was it. She couldn't, couldn't quite get up for the count of ten. So, yeah, Becky retained, and I'm so glad that she did. Yeah, was so with the crowd. Yeah, the crowd were all over it. Yeah. What, um, but uh, the, the great thing as well, someone said it online as well, it's a nice little homage, because the last time that she, uh, Becky was in a title match that wasn't in this feud, yeah. that's how she lost the title to Alexa Bliss, going yeah, through the table. that's true. Power one through the table. So the fact that she won that with this was quite a nice It's little, almost a full circle. Yeah, thing, it's like yeah. a full circle, tip of the cap type thing. The, the, the three things that annoyed me, and this might just have been my, off Michael Cole's head, is probably someone in his ear. When Becky won and the place erupted, he straight away went to, oh, the crowd uh, are, are cheering for both these women for the, the effort they yeah. made. There's probably an element of truth in that, but the pop itself, no. For it was for Becky. Becky. Yeah. I and know she's meant to be the beating, the down, beating down Charlotte and the crowd were going, you deserve <laughs> it. <laughs> I, I, mean, I was like, she does it. Deserve it. No, really, but but you, just, you see what's happening here. Like, you, you can do whatever you want with Becky. They'll love her. Uh, they can't really help it because, again, it's one of them where we just, it's that era where we're going to love the heels. Mm. And so it's a kind of a difficult dis- uh, position for WWE to be in. The only bits that annoyed me a little bit were when the ref would sometimes stop the count uh, like at yeah, night yeah. when she was still on her knees and like no you yeah, got to be back yeah. to your feet yeah, has to, yeah there was a couple of times that happened I yeah. thought that she's, she and there was another time as well where, that, um, where Becky couldn't reach the chair are you going to talk about that? No, 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 I was saying she was on the floor and Charlotte was uh, kind of stumbling around she was on her feet but Becky was completely flat on the floor and the ref weren't counting I was like, Becky's on the floor, yeah, uh, count! The, the, the rule is that the other competitor has got to tell the ref to count. So it, 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 really? It, yeah, unless they're both down. Because if that. you go if early on in the match... You know, when I didn't they, think that was the case. If like, the case, if they're down on the floor, you start counting. Uh, it isn't the game, because you can't tell the ref, I think. But I think that's it's the, similar to an I quit match. Right. You, you go, like, ask him if he wants to quit. I think okay. it's the way it goes. Um, yeah, during the figure eight through the ladder... Becky was reaching for the chair and couldn't reach it, and you just see Mike Cody trying to gingerly kick the chair over to say, "Oh, go back!" Oh, I didn't see that. Is, when you see it, it is so fucking obvious and it's horrible. There's another thing that's really obvious as well. Um, you know, everyone should know this by now. The little finger grasping. So once yeah. someone does a big spot, no one knows. Uh, the refs always try and very subtly uh, just put their two fingers between the person's hand, palm of their hands, and they squeeze. They squeeze. It basically means, "Oh, absolutely fine." Yeah, that's all it is. It's not a subtle thing for anyone who doesn't know. He did it to Charlotte uh, after she got power on through the table, and it was so fucking obvious. It was right in front of you. There's no way it could have been. To be honest, I was He just like he purposely walked up to her and put his hand in his in her palm. To, and it was like, dude. To be honest, it, was not a it might have been. He might have generally thought, "Oh fuck, she's really hurt," so it just went straight in, just like as your your motion gets the better of you. But I didn't notice that. But maybe because I wasn't looking for it. Yeah, it was really the, obvious. The one I did notice was that after Becky took the neck bump on the pile of chairs, um, the ref went over her just to check, and you just see Becky kind of nod, which is the whole, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> kind of thing, yeah. So, again, this is the unfortunate thing of being, we're not the casual fans. But so, we, we want to be the casual fans of going... Just walk into a page and go, I want her to beat her and yeah, him to beat him. Keep it, like, it would do when you were a kid. Yeah. We can't. That, that, that would, back, yeah, back in the day, it was like, I don't care how long the match goes, I just want him to beat the shit out of him. Now it's like, we, we do care we who wins and loses. We kind of everything, yeah, don't we? But at the end, but of, the end day, of the day, if we didn't, we wouldn't be doing this podcast. That's well, but that's it. It's now turned into, we do, to a degree, care who wins and loses, but it's kind of becoming... Pushing it's about the down, story told, but, and it's about the quality of the match. Yeah, yeah. That that's what it is to me. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah. Overall, I think this match was incredible. It was a match of night. Both botches aside, and a couple of miscommunications aside, I really enjoyed it. What really, really was beginning to fuck me off was the way Michael and the commentary team were going. This is the first ever last one standing match. No, it ain't. Yeah. NXT was the first. No, no, but if you actually listen, he kept saying the first one in WWE. Well, sometimes he did, sometimes he didn't. Yeah. And it's really pissing me off. Yeah, it's annoying. Thinking, do not promote it as the first one. Speaking, it's of, not. speaking of commentators, I'm going to go on record and say Beth Phoenix is better than fucking Renee for commentating. I think she did a pretty st- solid job at commentating. To, to be honest, apart from what I just said about Michael Cole, 
it was one of them where I don't think any of them did a bad job. But I was there were a couple of times you could hear Vince clearly shouting in his ear to plug something. But yeah, it wasn't as obvious. Oh, did you hear when they plugged Crown Jewel? Yeah, and the crowd just booed, booed the shit oh, out of him. Yeah. If that ain't the sign yeah, that you, you know, should have promo videos, not once have they mentioned Saudi Arabia in any way, shape, nope. or form. Nope. It's funny that the thing I was thinking though. I, I, some people might agree with me, some might not. It, it, and I generally don't have an answer myself. Do you think? Um, a good commentary team is when you are listening to their every word and agreeing with it, or to the fact that you know they're there, but you, you don't, you're not hearing them at all because you're invested in the match. Almost like a DJ. So I'd, yeah, I'd say probably the second one because I'm not there to listen to every word they got. They're there to call the match. If they call the right match, it gets you. It's, their reaction is meant to be the same as what the crowd is. If they yeah. got the energy and they're saying the right words, just like the crowd are reacting at the right moments it gives you that extra energy yeah. to enjoy the match. If they're not saying the right words and they're clearly plugging something or nothing, then it, yeah. it doesn't give you yeah, the right Yeah, if they're saying the right thing. So if they're, doing the, it's, they're like a roadie. Yeah. If, you, if they're doing their job right, you, you don't know, even they, know they're there. They're, yeah, they kind of... You, they, you are listening to them, but it's kind of a it's background It's like they're your subconscious. Yes. Um, there was a couple of times where... Um, I think there's been a cock, there was a cock up and, and Mike was like, uh, yeah, that was a unique manoeuvre. I was like, no, well, it was just a cock yeah, up. Yeah, it was a fuck up. So, it, yeah, because they, they, they say a lot as well, and they do this quite a lot. Whenever someone doesn't get quite land their move, they go, oh, they didn't get all of it. Yeah, well, obviously. Yeah, well, yeah, they fucked up, that's yeah, why. You notice commentators more, I suppose it's a reflection of the match. If the match is that good anyway, you're not going to give a fuck about the commentators. But, when a fuck up happens, it's almost that subconscious. As soon as you see it, like what are the commentators yeah, say? Take it away, Cole. Take it away. It's kind of like, uh, well, we're going to drink our Mountain Dew, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and now we're talking about our sponsors. Yeah. Well, one of it was totally it's KFC. It was so pathetic. One of it was, um, I think, when the Iconics or somebody were coming out. I don't know. It goes, uh, oh, if you check their Instagram out, they really like eating donuts. Why are you telling now, me this? Before I can even go, <laughs> uh, cheers. Beth, but say we like. My husband likes donuts. How is this wrong? This, this is not what it's for! So yeah, it's like, like unless you're going to go, my husband likes donuts, and speaking of donuts, get the rated R Edge Superstar yeah. Donuts. Uh, fuck off! Shake away! Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm going for a wrestle talk. Oh, yeah. God. Anyway, anyway yeah, we're right uh, Main event, yeah. Ro- I knew it going to be the main event. Ronda versus Nikki Bella. Uh, obviously, Brie Should have been the other way around. The SmackDown Women's Championship should have... Oh, yeah. Had, had, not just because of the quality of the match, but because of the, the story. The story, and yeah, and the, about it was, yeah. The, the Raw Women's Championship is already was, kind of over because Ronda's wearing it. Yeah. And I'm not saying SmackDown one isn't, but this is probably more my personal hatred between Nikki. It was kind of like... We know what's happening. It's yeah. this legendary Ronda Rousey who's only been in WWE eight months or so, and she's already the top dog in women's wrestling, and Nikki. Mm. To me, which you can no, go. I don't like, just I don't like the Bellas. No, no. neither is like the Bellas. It was kind of like it's, no, just, it's a reality star, and it was one of them. I think this thing. The match was actually good. I think it was one of Nikki's better matches. To be perfectly honest, yeah, um, I agree. Uh, which is considering the fact that Ronda's still building herself up as you know herself. Yeah, that actually does say a lot for Nikki, and I'm not really a fan of it. But I think she did pretty well. I think the whole point of this match was actually a statement. The yeah. statement being. The ways of the divas are dead. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. The way of the divas is dead. This is how we do it by solidifying by having Ronda just beat her. Which, yeah. obviously, spoiler alert, she does. There's no way they were going to give it to me. There's I was no worried. way. There's two times there's I was worried. worried. Oh, no! There was a couple of times I was with the racket sack. I was like, what? And the Alabama slam. Yeah, I was like, no, no, yeah, no, 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 no. To myself, how can they, on the first ever historic women's pay-per-view, have the night end with the diva holding the championship. And look, if, that, if she won at those points, it would have been clean. Yeah. You cannot have Nikki Bella beat Ronda Rousey no, clean. There's no way they were going to have a go at it any other way than have Ronda to retain. Yeah. And I'm glad that she did. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I, I agree with what you say. It was more like, because Ronda's always got a notice, like, I, I can stand the women's wrestling when it was the divas division. It was, it, it was almost, a, I think that's why she... Made a statement in UFC of kind of like, I ain't one of those divas WWE, I'm here to kick some ass. And then the, when WWE changed their tune, she was interested in going. Yeah. So it was more like, I'm the Raw Women's Champion, I'm going to be one of the leaders of the women's division, not just in wrestling, but let's face it, she's maybe the biggest it's female sports, and that, but that sports personality ever. Mm. I'm here to crush the divas division. And it was on Raw last week during the contract signing. 
Nikki, to her credit, admitted that the that the Bellas are divas, yeah. uh, the, the, and the, she did a reasonable promo. But I'll be honest, Ronda's retort was yeah. straight away. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. which was the only door you knocked down was John, to John Cena's bedroom, oh. and that was also the one he kicked you straight out. I love that. I was like, <laughs> was like that. that was amazing. But again, it. It would have been a lot better with a lot more build-up. If they had built it up as... They built it over a few months rather than a couple of weeks. Yeah. yeah. And did it like we said of women versus divas because the heel thing, which Nikki did do to to a degree of claiming that, yeah, we're divas, but we led the women's revolution. Like, no, you didn't. You just kind of were there. Existed. You did the you tweet. Were the better, you were the best-looking ones at that yeah. point. You did the tweet. You did whatever you had to do backstage, whether it be with Cena, Brian, or whoever. Did your only reality TV show. And yeah, even Ronda said, there's a, the only reason you're interested in getting on my title now is because the cameras are pointing at me. There's an element of truth there's in that. Just, yeah, there is. So, um, I think that's what annoyed me of kind of going, it's the first ever women's pay-per-view, it's the main event, I want two women that can, re- you look at them and go, these two can wrestle. Which mm. is why I wanted Charlotte and Becky to headline. Yeah. Because it's like, these two, this isn't like a mismatch like Ronda Nikki was of, it's this dominant MMA wrestling warrior Versus a diva. Mm. With Charlotte and Becky, it was like two best friends, two phenomenal women's wrestlers in the last one stand. Yeah. So it should, yeah. That's and it did steal the show, like we yeah. said. Definitely. But the Raw... But the, but the, yeah, but the Raw... It was that. It was a good match. It was enjoyable. I did not enjoy it. No. You know what I mean? It's like, it wasn't amazing, but it was good. Uh, Ronda's still proving that she's getting better and better as time is going on. Yeah. As I said before, Nikki did put on a reasonable match. Couple of good spots. Co- yeah, there was a couple of decent spots. Um... Yeah, I mean, I, I can't really complain about it too much. No, so it, it did what it needed to do. Yeah, I mean, the top three matches to me through the night were uh, the last one was standing, the May Young Classic Final, and the NXT Women's Championship. Yeah. But I would actually maybe put the fourth, uh, close fourth, as the Raw Women's Championship. Yeah. Because it, yeah, it did right. exactly what it said it was going to do. Yeah, it did what it said in the team. And the right person won, yes. thankfully. Yeah, she, I mean, she tapped reasonably quick, didn't she? Yeah. Well, this but again, you've got to put this armbar over, and that seems to be what they're doing. Well, again, if I didn't care, because I, I, I messaged you early saying, uh, or I messaged someone early anyway, saying I haven't la- watched the last 15 minutes of it. Excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> so, if I didn't care, I would have just been straight on Facebook going, yeah, here's one. But I didn't want to know. So I did have you another one. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's pretty much it, but... It was, yeah, the bit at the end... Oh, with the, with the women, women, women women stood on the ramp and everything, yeah. And then yeah, it was two nice. champs in the middle. I, I wasn't going to go that way. This was something I found out today, and it it does hook in not to the pay per view, but to women's wrestling. And it was one of them where I, I, I think it's still rumour at the minute, but it was big enough that it was on MSN because I was at work. MSN, what, MSN, because oh, my email is still on MSN. Sorry, old school. I was going to say, fuck me. It's I thought I had to do something in my email from work. It's like, oh shit. And on MSN.com, homepage comes up. Obviously, it's got the news feed. And this thing popped up. I thought, are you kidding me? WWE are interested in signing Serena Williams, the tennis player. What? She, they want her as female talent on the wrestling division. I have no idea. I didn't have en- enough time to read the article. I don't know where this stemmed from. I know Serena's very athletic, but I've never heard her interested in be- in wrestling. This is so mismatched. It, it just seems so random. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah, it's kind of like I was expecting the next hour to, uh, to be Mr. Bobby arrested for murder. <laughs> it's kind of like, what the hell is going on in the world? But it's a bit weird. If it's, again, if it's on, I know MSM's a, a, a kind of dated homepage now. But again, they do try and get the biggest news stories there. Like obviously, there was the Leicester City helicopter crash. We'll throw a, a thing out to them as well. Prayers and, yeah, and, yeah. and memories. That's, that's a bit memories. Shocked, I weren't it? Thought. Yeah. Um, but again, yeah, seeing that, I'm like, what? Serena yeah. Williams. Why? <laughs> it was kind of like, I, I, don't get me wrong, it, it's always sort of entertaining, but um, when Shaq came out to the Battle Royal at WrestleMania 32. It was a, a nice surprise, but the first reaction was, Shaq! Yeah, I'm like, yeah. That's yeah. what we all did. We were like, what? What's going on? It's the same with Serena he's Williams. He's there because he's fucking a million feet tall. Yeah, he, well, yeah he's, he's like, okay, he's hosted Raw. He's done appearances to be before. 
But throwing him at a battle royal at WrestleMania, what are you doing? <laughs> so, I don't know if this Serena Williams thing is, is solid or going to happen, but it's just weird. Mm. I, I, don't, oh, I, I do know that Survivor Series is going to be Ronda vs. Becky, though. They, they're, they've confirmed Raw Yeah, they've confirmed that they're doing that. So that means that they did the Raw vs. Smackdown thing, so... I'm okay with that because... Ronda Becky, yeah, I'm fine with that. This is the... St- I mean, this is a good way to plug our next podcast, really, because obviously you're going to get us again later this week. Uh, yeah, so Crown yeah, Friday's Crown Jewels, so it's probably... The Saturday It's probably the Saturday morning, isn't it, yeah. Yeah, but again, what annoys me with that is, after Crown Jewel, you've only got a two-week build-up to Survivor Series. Yeah. How are you going to build it up that quick? And so you can't. Yeah. Which is why I don't... Um, but even when Michael Cole and all that were promoting the Crown Jewel Evolution, it said the next time on pay-per-view. Is that, it shouldn't be a pay-per-view. And Super Showdown shouldn't have been. There should have been what... You should have advertised them as as network exclusives because they're in different countries. Yeah. Um, but again, it's kind of they're making it seem like it's a, a solid pay per. If it was a pay per view, I'd expect it annually. But I don't think they're going to be. No. Um, Evolution, yes. I think yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, because that that was what I was going to like sum it up as. Of it was a good. It wasn't like the greatest pay per view I've ever watched. But it was. It was good. It was it was solid. It, it was, was solid good, enough solid to go. Yeah, get, try it again next year as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I mean, so for overall, then um, I was going to give it um, a six. A but, six. But I'm going to go with seven purely because I was going to give it a six purely because of unfortunately botches stand out for me, and it in essence I know we know how the business works but you want to uh, what's the word kind of suspend reality yeah to make it seem like a believable fight okay. where like a good example was where I think when Trish was going for like the stretch faction thing where she like grabs a headlock jumps off the top uh, springboards off the top rope and then plants him into the mat Mickey James is obviously lifting her up because of I don't know age or athletics or whatever to do it Mm. Which, again, destroys that belief. You want it to seem like a real fight, which, again, Last Woman Standing and Shane Blazer did. Um, but the reason I'm going with Seven is what they did with so much lack of, like, build-up. Yeah. They, they, they did really well. Uh, they should be proud See, of themselves. Um, for me, I'm, gonna, I'm giving it an eight. I, okay. really, I did really enjoy the pay-per-view. Yeah, there were a few botches, a few mistakes, as there is with every pay-per-view. But, as you said, considering the lack of promotion behind it, the lack of story built behind it. These girls executed matches and even a couple of matches that I had no invested in whatsoever. Yeah. But at the end of it I thought, well done, well done. Yeah. Well, um, so yeah, I mean overall I, I think I'm definitely going to give it an eight. I really enjoyed the solid match and I am actually looking forward to them doing it again. Yeah, it was one of them where they've got to be careful that they try don't try and make evolution the women's WrestleMania because if they no, do, no, no, no. just women make, it, make gonna... it a pay, just a regular pay. Yeah, game, but by all means, do it but, every year. Because if you make Evolution and go like, hey, it's Evolution, it's the all women's pay per view, it's their WrestleMania. It's going to make him their women's matches at WrestleMania seem second rate. Mm. Where WrestleMania should be everybody, everyone. everyone. Um, so yeah, I think it's w- one of them where it wasn't one of those kind of pay per views for me where it was like. We've arrived, we've done it, we're here. It was more, we ain't going anywhere. Mm. Uh, that I think they've still got a lot more to... It, it, it's. I don't think it's hit that spot yet where you can go into WrestleMania, hear a woman's match is headlining it, and you go, yes, they deserve it. I don't think... They're nearly there. I think they've got a few more years till that. But, for example, if now they went, uh, I don't know... It's going to be Rousey versus Charlotte at WrestleMania. Great. Love to see that. I don't think it could finish the show. So it could be second to last? Yes, definitely. But obviously that's the next goal for uh, uh, the women's division to go. We are good enough to headline main event WrestleMania. And not only be good enough ourselves, know we've got the athletic ability, but for the fans to even sit there and go, yeah, I want to see that headline WrestleMania. So, yeah, we yeah, really enjoyed it. It was, I, I yeah, it was good. You're good and solid, baby. So, yeah, we'll be back in less than a week for Crown Jewel. Mm-hmm. Um, we are quite tentative about reviewing this, period with all the controversy and about the right and wrongs and whether we should, but we felt we should at least give it a go. 
um, try it and see what it's like. Yeah, I, um, I think what will probably happen, we'll go into the Crown Jewel pay per view and uh, the podcast, sorry, and go, yeah, we're here just to tell you what happened. Yeah. We've kind of already stated our opinion in the yeah. Roman Reigns podcast. Yeah, we've made it abundantly clear that they, would, they shouldn't be going. But yeah. if they are going, then that means there's something for us to review and we're going to do it. We, yeah, we, we don't know. We only know what the media have told us and what police reports have come out. We don't know all the ins and outs, so we're not going to... We, we've got, like we said, our opinion, yeah. but we don't know all the ins and outs. Yeah, we're not going to go over it again and again. You know yeah. how it is. Right. So, yeah. so, yeah, like, subscribe, and we'll probably see you in just under a week. Bye! Bye.